Hi, I am here to show you how to make a face mask that has a pocket in it so you can insert uh, extra filtration. Uh, I was requested to make this um, by my friends who are nurses after I made a basic double layer t-shirt face mask. They said it would be great if you could add a pocket into it so that we could add um, these filtration um, devices. Um, so that's what I've done. I've added this pocket and I've also changed the design to make it much simpler to make. And um, I, this design that I've come up with is kind of unique to me. You can see that it has this drawstring feature here that allows you to really tighten the face mask against the top and around the jaw and you can bunch it up to get a good fit on your face and then tie it in the back um, as needed. And I also try to give a tutorial based on fabrics you'd and things you'd have around the home, like t-shirts. Um, I'm also going to show you how to make this same design with uh, this t-shirt's knit, um, woven cotton fabrics. Um, there was a study that re recommended 100% cotton uh, t-shirts and pillowcases. Um, they also tested tea towels uh, for filtration. They recommended the pillowcases and the t-shirts because of breathability. Um, so I'm going to talk about a few things um, relating to that right now because I want to give some disclaimers before I get into this. Um, first off, the intention of this tutorial really is to provide a pattern that um, people can make a bunch of face masks in case places are needing um, masks to be donated. I am not selling these. I do not want you to sell them. I want you to donate them or make them for your needy needs for your family. Um, please contact places before you start delivering these to make sure they even want them and they have a plan to sanitize them. Uh, you can sanitize them at home, but I'm betting if you set, take them to a hospital, they want to sanitize them there too. That is what a hospital is doing in my area. Um, I want you to stay at home as much as you can, especially if you're healthy and you're okay. If you have mild symptoms, stay home if you don't have any underlying conditions. Uh, you can make this mask to go out for needed trips, like to the grocery store, but please do not make these to wear yourself so you can go out in public more and socialize. Please stay in and hopefully sew these masks. Also, um, if you are going to use these, these filters, um, use new and clean disposable filters and then also make sure you replace them with also new and clean ones after they've been used or soiled after your uh, breath has made them wet and dirty. Uh, Non-woven cloth is the best and they recommend tissues, dried wet wipes, toilet paper, and I am a sewer and I have a lot of non-woven interfacing around. Uh, this is non-fusible. Fusible might work, I'm not sure, but any non-woven fabrics they say are great for filtration. Last but not least, please, if you have an underlying condition and you have been given a better mask, use that one, not this one. Use the best mask you have. If you only must go out, please stay home. Because if you have a mask with very high filtration, you need to limit how much time you wear that because the more filtration, the harder it is to breathe and can lead to breathing problems. Because of this, people with heart conditions really should not be wearing high filtration face masks for a long time. You can cause problems in and out of the hospital just because you put a face mask on for too much. The main thing is stay home if you can, if you have to go out, or if you have to be in a place where there's people congregating, hospitals, nursing homes, etc., places where people need these face masks and can't get a hold of the real ones, the industrial, non woven ones, and they're asking people to make them. That's what this is for. All right. So, how to make a face mask out of a t shirt. So here's the t-shirt. I tried to maximize my uh, area of cloth and so I could get four adult size um, face mask rectangles and then probably two kid size ones out of the top of this t-shirt. Um, when you cut it, you want at least 11 inches to 12 inches wide for an adult because uh, you, want it, you want to make sure you get a nice um, 9 to 10 inch finish um, 
on an adult size, nine for a small woman, ten for an adult male. Um, and you, I cut my uh, piece 11 inches wide here, and then I use the rest of the fabric here to make the strips that are for the cording. They're about one inch wide, but you can make them a little narrower if you want it, need to get in the amount of strips you need in order to make all the masks for the t-shirt. So um, I just got my width for, and that's the direction that's going to go from here to here, and then I folded my t-shirt in half and cut along that, and then I cut along the fold at the side seam in order to get the final size. But it's about roughly, this one's about 10 inches wide, it might be 11 or 12, um, <clears throat> but you can, this one is a size medium shirt, if you have a large or extra large it'll be big. The width is not going to matter too much because we're going to, we can overlap this um, envelope in the back. If you want to, I'll also show you how to finish um, the, the edges here if you want to do that. Two, that's what you have to do on the woven uh, fabric mask, but I'm trying to make a real quick and easy uh, t-shirt one that hopefully people can make a bunch of if they are needed. So this has minimal fish finishing. So, but if you want to have um, folded over edges in here and folded over edges in the casing, you might need to add in extra width and height in order to allow for that. <clears throat> so, the first step after you have your cut piece is you need to fold it. You need to fold it and then the direction of the t-shirt that you want is the t-shirt should be, the, the grain should have been going this direction in order to have the right stretch to go around the face. So you want to fold it over with a little bit of an overlap. So fold it this way and that way. And I've been kind of get, gauging about five inches high for an adult and about four inches high for a child. So you get this and then the next stage is we're going to fold over the sides. So you want to fold them over it's about three quarters of an inch because we want to sew about a half inch casing for that cord. Now if you want to be fancier and better finished you can tuck under that edge there, that raw edge, and sew like that, but you'll need a little bit more width in that cut piece in order to get it. You want to have a casing about a half an inch, maybe a little under. You want it big enough that you can fit um, a safety pin in to help thread it, but you don't want it too easy for the drawstring to come out or in the wash. So you fold over the half sides, I mean the sides about three quarters of an inch, and then the next step is you sew from the edge to make the casing for the cord about a half an inch from the edge on both sides, and then the final step is you take that cord that you cut <coughs> and you, um, in order to make those cords, I don't know if I talked about that specifically, but you cut those strips into one inch um, wide strips, and this was a t-shirt that had no size seams, so I don't have any seams on the edges. If you do have a seam there, it might come apart and you just might have to knot it in order to go together, but you, um, all you have to do is, in order to make this longer, just pull on this strip and it makes a nice cord and then you just cut it to create the cord. So when you put in the cord, you can use a safety pin that helps to guide it through. You want to go up through here and then down through here. And if you're having problems with your cord um, casing, you can use something like a a chopstick to kind of put in to the casing in order to make sure that the whole um, the casing opening is is open and to get the cord through better.
Now I'm going to show you how to make the same style of mask but using woven fabric, cotton woven fabric. So I have a cotton napkin that I'm using. So that did kind of limit the size that I have um, to make this. So this is your goal finish size. You want an adult one to be about four and a half by nine for a smaller uh, head size, up to five by ten for an adult, or you know, make these. See if you want them even bigger. But again, I'm just trying to maximize my fabric too. So make them as big as you can for your fabric. Child can be smaller, four by seven. So this is what I cut my napkin into. I cut it about 12 inches long um, because what we're going to do with this um, version is we're going to need to finish all these hems this time rather than in the uh, t-shirt one we did before. We didn't really need to finish those because t-shirt edges they cut and I've washed this to wash test it and it was fine with these raw edges but you can still finish the edges if you want to in the t-shirt one. It just kind of makes this seem a little wonky but and takes more time. Um, if you wanted to finish anything, I'd suggest finishing these casings here because you just have to fold those over again. It takes just a little bit more fabric, but you have to sew that seam anyway. So it's a good option to do that. But if you want something quick and simple, you don't have to fold those over in the t-shirt. But you do need to for woven fabric because it will unravel and make a mess because these will need to be washed in order to sanitize them. Again, I washed these without doing that and it was fine. It does not need to be um, hemmed, but woven fabric will be. So again, you just need enough fabric um, to make sure you can fold this up and have room for those hems and those casings either direction. So for this one, I ended up making it about 12 and a half inches wide. I thought I could use these other parts maybe for as um, replacements for the non-woven inserts for people who can wash everything um, since it was tea towels, kind of thick. Um, so I thought that would be an option for those. So, um, but my finished size for the mask, it was a, almost 10 inches tall, but if you notice, I already have a hem down here, so that takes up uh, a little bit of that, what that I would have to add on if this wasn't um, hemmed. And so you want it maybe about 10 inches when it's not hemmed and 12 and a half to 13. Um, again, I have a hem on this side too that helps. So maybe about 13 inches uh, when those hems aren't there. Next step is to hem the long edges first. And so again, I already had that one here, so I added that one there. And then you need to fold um, them in. Let's take this, put it right there. I'm gonna fold the sides so they go into the middle. Now you can uh, fold with an overlap if you want to. That's what we did with the t-shirt ones. But it does kind of make, depending on what your fabric is, if it's thinner, it might be good. But this made it kind of thick to have all that bulk right there. And and when I'm cutting this one, and the sizes, I really didn't have room for um, an overlap. So you can just make them fold to meet with the opening in the middle. That's okay, too. And it might work a little bit better in thicker fabrics. So fold towards the middle long ways and then we need to fold in the sides. Now this one I already have is already finished so I just need to fold that over probably about three-fourths of an inch enough to give me a quarter a uh, half inch casing and then you would need to iron that maybe to help it stay um, and then for this other side I would need to fold it over slightly and iron and then fold over again enough to get a half inch casing like this. So that's the fourth step is to sew those casings about a half inch away from the edge and this is the finished edge you want on that other side. And then the last step is to go ahead and put in whatever cord you have. If you have elastic that's great. If you just have some ribbon that works too. Um, use a safety pin to go through um, to lead that ribbon through the casings. If you're having problems with a casing, you can use a chopstick 
to insert into the casing to open it up like that. And then once you have it all done, you can put the filters in. Again, a review of some of the non-woven filters. And I had leftover of this fabric, and so I thought I can possibly make a washable filter from that too, from my own. <coughs> so, a refresher again, this is the woven. It does not, with woven, it's not going to bunch up as much, not be as tight. The t shirt, I think, does a little bit better of the bunching and stretching and fitting. So please let me know if you have any questions. I'll see if I come up with any more ideas. But again, please make these to donate. Stay at home as much as you can. You can wear these to the grocery store only if you have to go out. But please stay in and sew and do other things to keep yourself happy and healthy. Um, only use clean and uh, new disposable filters and replace them. We review those again are the filters that are good to use based on um, the articles I've read. And if you have a better mask, please use that one instead of this one. And limit wearing masks with very high filtration, especially if you've got underlying conditions like heart disease. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, please let me know. Stay healthy, my friends. Bye.